guys, it's Natalie Tasha. So today I am going to be bringing you a new video and lately I have been on a super like fitness kick. I don't know if it's because it's Coachella coming up in a couple weeks, which I'm so excited about. We're gonna be getting so many Coachella videos this March. I'm so excited. But also, I don't know, summer's coming up and I feel like I've always dealt with like insecurities throughout my life just with body image and whatnot. And recently I've been like, you know what? I'm gonna just kick that in the butt and I'm gonna actually go back to working out and like eating healthy and stuff. Because of that, I am going to be bringing you a seven things that I've used to start losing weight just in the beginning stages of everything like if you want to get in shape and stuff. If you guys want to know my tips for how I started to lose weight and get in shape without working out, I mean like I've been working out but I mean like you understand what I'm saying, my thought process is all over the place, hashtag ADD, then stay tuned. Also, if you've never seen my face before, that's a problem, so you should probably subscribe and turn my notifications on so you guys get a notification every time I post, which is every single Saturday starting from today. But yes, let's get into it, seven things that I do to get in shape. So my first tip to you is just to drink a lot of water. I know you always hear that, but it's honestly the biggest factor in getting in shape and losing weight, because some of the reasons that you can gain 10 pounds in a week and not even realize it, especially for girls, is water retention. A couple ways to combat that is just drinking water. Your body retains water when it doesn't think that it's getting enough water and it thinks that you're dying of dehydration. So it actually stores it all in your tissues because it's worried that you're gonna die. I mean, I guess our bodies are cool like that, but when you're trying to lose weight, it kind of sucks. Lots of doctors recommend to drink half of your weight in ounces. And again, I know that's really hard because that's like a lot of water. Honestly, just start by drinking at least two bottles a day. For me, I know that's a lot more than I even drink in a normal day. I usually have like one or two glasses. But since I've been trying to do this whole like, I want to get fit and I want to get in shape and I want to look like those beautiful vegan blogger models on Instagram. I'm gonna start drinking water and I have been and I've been feeling great. My skin has been super just beautiful and I'm hydrated. I'm feeling good. Obviously, I need to do more just because I can tell even in my lip. I definitely have a long ways to go with that, but that's my first tip. Just drink a lot of water. My second tip going off of that is when you first wake up in the morning, I know for me, I used to be pretty addicted to coffee. I've gotten off of it lately and I know for a lot of people, it's really hard just because coffee is so addicting and it's the first thing you do in the morning, you get up, go downstairs, pour yourself a cup of coffee and it kind of starts your day. Unfortunately, coffee is really bad for losing weight and it is not really the greatest thing for your body. So one thing that I found is really helpful if you want a good like pick me up in the morning and just to kind of start your day off right, instead of drinking coffee, to get a glass of cold ice water and add a lemon to it. So just a little bit of lemon water to start your day and it's great, it hydrates you, it starts your morning off with water, which number one, and it also just like the cold water is actually more effective to your body to wake you up than coffee is. If you really are bad at being addicted to coffee, I would suggest trying the lemon water first. If you still need to pick me up in a couple 30, 45 minutes or so, then get yourself a cup of coffee because you know, it's hard to get off coffee. Tip number three, going into vegan and gluten free is just to cut out all dairy. Dairy is really bad because it is really fatty. And I know you do need like the calcium and stuff from milk, but you can find that in even just calcium pills. Milk and dairy is so bad for you now. I mean, I could go into a whole rant about the FDA and how the government is killing all of the nutrition in our food. I'm not gonna go into that, um, maybe in another video. But dairy is so terrible for you. Not only the living conditions that the animals are in and stress they undergo that ends up actually going into the food weird enough. I know I'm not fully vegan, so I'm not gonna give you the whole like, really the bananas spiel on why veganism is so important and the whole animal aspect of it. But honestly, a lot of animal products I would try to avoid. Dairy is the number one that you should cut out. There's so many good alternatives it is out coconut milk and almond milk even like cashew milk is so much better for you and another product I love is Kalikia they go to a bunch of like VidCon and BeautyCon and stuff but they're an incredible brand they have coffees too so if you do really want your coffee this is another good way to have it but everything is vegan and I don't think it's organic but it is like a really good product so I would highly suggest that if you are kind of like a dairy person and you like to have a cup of milk in the morning also a good alternative for cheese I mean I love my cheese I get this almond milk cheese from Erewhon and I know they have it at Whole Foods too I think but it's a pepper jack almond cheese and it tastes just like pepper jack cheese and I love my pepper jack cheese so if you're a cheese person like me then I would recommend that. So number four going into gluten free again I could go on another whole rant on how the FDA doesn't really care about us whatsoever and the wheat that they're actually producing in the United States is terrible. I personally can't have gluten just because I am gluten intolerant I don't have celiac but it does affect my body in a way that I would rather it not. So so I basically cut out gluten completely. I had a cup of the other day, but it was my friend's birthday, so like I had to. Honestly, there are so many good alternatives for gluten. Like there's so many gluten-free things. It blows my mind, like the things that I've been able to find. But there's so many good 
good brands out there and that's honestly one of the first things you should be starting to do just cut out dairy cut out any wheat so no pastas no breads no pizzas and if you are gonna have it then try to have gluten-free pizza or try to have you know something that has a substitute in it unfortunately though a lot of gluten-free products if you are only eating like gluten-free pasta and gluten-free breads and thinking that's healthier it's not because they actually have a higher glycemic index which means it has more sugar because it's made with like tapioca starch and tapioca flour white rice flours most of the time which isn't good for you so if you can avoid it at all costs that would be great if you are somebody that has to have a piece of toast in the morning like I am try to look for stuff that's made with maybe brown rice flour instead or almond flour because those have a lower glycemic index so less sugar honestly there's so many alternatives out there I could just list the whole thing for you but I want you to do your own research because that should that you're actually interested in losing weight so number six kind of goes along with number one just with water retention and bloating and stuff one thing I would really recommend if you do struggle with water retention or bloating is teas cranberry tea or peppermint tea in the morning peppermint tea will actually help you not feel bloated um, I know for me if I've had, I've had like gluten or dairy which does make me bloat I'll usually have a cup of peppermint tea right afterwards that kind of just cleans your body I don't know how it does it my mom's a doctor she told me about it I tried it and I love it so if you are ever feeling bloated then I would recommend a cup of peppermint tea and then cranberry tea also just helps with water retention I know they have one for women that it's like lose weight or whatever but it's actually like good around your period you end up being really bloated around your period so if you do both sometimes I'll cranberry tea and peppermint tea not necessarily the best flavors but it's not terrible by any means does two in one one cup that sounded really bad and if you got it then please just leave it in the comments below <laughs> and finally number seven just try to fill your plate up with as many veggies as you can I know that's hard because trust me I'm not a veggie person I've recently become a veggie person I absolutely love it because I can eat just a plate of veggies and be happy with my life but a lot of people aren't like that so you can find good alternatives I know they have a bunch of recipes on Pinterest and stuff here's my Pinterest if you want to follow me I know I've put a bunch of recipes in my cravings and more so you guys can go follow that if you really just need the vegetables and you aren't worried about the olive oil intake or whatever because for me I'm not a calorie counter whatsoever I just kind of count the quality of my food because that's all that really matters a lot of people will have problems with avocados being fatty because they have so many calories and stuff but like avocados are so good for your body because you need that good fat and almonds and stuff so I guess this is number eight so eight kind of going along with that don't calorie count by any means do not calorie count because that's going to be your biggest enemy if you don't have enough calories in your body in a day your body will actually think that you're going hungry and it'll store more fat which is not what you want you want to be eating good healthy foods good colorful foods oh god now I'm thinking of all of these things to do I will make like another video on this because I want to continue this I'm gonna be making a workout video and stuff and like what I eat in a day video just try to fill your plate up with colors you know that's how you know that you're actually eating good foods you can make vegetables taste so good by adding a little olive oil or paprika or cayenne pepper if you like spice like I do so I'm gonna add with number nine I'm going off of the spices try to drink a lot of turmeric and ginger shots I know they're terrible they taste terrible but it's so good for your metabolism because it actually ends up speeding up your metabolism a fast metabolism means that you'll be able to process food faster and that you won't gain weight as quickly especially when you get older because when you're younger you have faster metabolism but once you hit like 27 then you hit a wall and that's not for all people but for the most part especially for women just because it's harder for us to lose weight and it's harder for us to gain muscle so men are a little more blessed like that just trying to get spicy food into your body so put that spice into your vegetables boom you have have beautiful number seven and number nine and I don't remember what number eight was but that's my tips it was supposed to be seven tips and you got nine so anyways yes that is it as I said I'm going to be creating some more fitness videos for you guys just because I want to be able to give you guys what I've been able to learn from my mom and just from other people that I look up to especially when it comes to healthy eating and living a healthy lifestyle I'm really gonna try and I'm gonna show you the results I know I've been posting some stuff on snapchat so if you want to add me on there feel free to here's my snap code and um, I'm gonna be posting some like before and after pictures of me just how I was before because I gained actually like a lot of weight this summer I've already lost like 15 20 pounds which is a crazy thing because it doesn't even look that noticeable but I just feel so much better and so much cleaner with all the food that I've been eating now and I'll be posting like fitspo and stuff especially if you want to get fit for summer or Coachella because if it's coming up I have to make sure to stay subscribed and stay tuned because so many Coachella videos are coming and I'm so excited but yes that's it I know my brain goes in like 18 directions at once and I'm so sorry about that but that's just how I am so get used to it if you want to watch my videos anyways I love you guys so much and I will see you next Saturday with a new video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on all my social media platforms so you can see what I'm not doing when I'm posting YouTube videos. Okay, I love you. Okay, I love you. I love you. I love you. Bye.